we've seen that in the welding process, the weld is produced between the metal plates and its alignment is relative to the metal plates. The alignment of weld with respect to the metal plates is called the weld position. The weld positions can be flat, horizontal, vertical or overhead. Let's first discuss how to produce a weld whose alignment is flat. First, place the two metal plates in such a way that their upper faces lie in the horizontal plane. Now bring the welding torch and fill a rod and start the welding process between the edges of the plates. We see that the molten metal from the filler rod reaches the plates in the downward direction. And finally a weld bead is formed whose axis lies in the horizontal plane. Thus we have a weld bead whose alignment is flat. Another example of flat weld position is now let us discuss how to produce a weld whose alignment is horizontal. First, place the two metal plates at right angle to each other. Then bring the welding torch and filler rod and point them towards the upper side of the horizontal plate and against the vertical face of the vertical plate. Now start the welding process from the right end proceeding towards the left. We see that the weld bead is formed whose axis lies in the horizontal plane. Thus, we have a weld bead whose alignment is horizontal. Another example of horizontal weld position is. Now, let's discuss how to produce a weld whose alignment is vertical. First, place the two metal plates vertically straight with their edges touching each other. Then, bring the welding torch and filler rod and point them towards the bottom of the intersecting points. Now, start the welding process by moving upwards. After the welding process is over, we see that the weld bead is formed whose axis lies in the vertical plane. Thus, we have a weld bead whose alignment is vertical. Another example of vertical weld position is. And now, let's discuss how to produce a weld whose alignment is overhead. First, place the two metal plates above the head of the welder. Then, bring the welding torch and filler rod and point them towards the end where their edges touch each other. Now start the welding process proceeding towards the other end. We see that a weld bead is formed whose axis lies in the horizontal plane but is placed above the welder's head. Thus we have a weld bead whose alignment is overhead. Another example of overhead weld position is 